the Great Flood happened 29,381 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Spare, Leak Project, how the heck are you? I have spent the past several hours researching and doing the math and the data to come up with that date. Now, if you read through the flood story, ancient Sumerian Mesopotamian clay tablet that has the story of the great flood, it references a king by the name of Ziadsura. Ziadsura. Now, the parallels of Ziadsura and Moses, not Moses, and Noah are incredible. Now, if you look at the king's list, the Sumerian's king's list, and you add up all the dates of when this king was in power, it was 29,381 years ago. <laughs> so that's a lot longer than what many people believe, you know, a few thousand years, 4,000 years, 6,000 years. We're going back almost 30,000 years. Now, let me ask you this. If you think that this is way off on the numbers, how come the Sumerians were extremely good record keepers? They could tell and write down exactly how much barley or wheat or grain that they needed. Incredible record keepers. How come they would be spot on with all of their trade and merchandise and way off with the rulerships and the timelines of the kingships. It doesn't make sense. Now, one might argue, okay, it showed that that one king was a ruler for 36,000 years, like Dumazid, the great shepherd that was married to Inanna, showed that his rulership, his kingship was 36,000 years. If you look at the lifespan of these people before the flood, it was far superior. They had a much longer physical lifespan. Now, what's interesting also, though, and you might say, well, it showed that the kingship was for 36,000 years, but are you sure it was that same person for 36,000 years? Could it have been the lineage, the bloodline of that king that ruled for that amount of years? And that's what they were referencing. That is a very solid argument. What is fascinating, though, is if you, once again, do the math, <laughs> I mean, 30,000 years ago, that puts into perspective these great structures that have been discovered and are, you know, like, for example, pyramids in Antarctica and China and all around the world. The one in, was it Bosnia? That's estimated to be about 12,500 years old. You might say, well these pyramids and these structures could be even older. And that would make sense that there were people around that could evolve and learn the tricks of the trade and the craft and masonry and, and construction work, etc. They were probably using sound wave technologies, frequency technologies to move these things instead of fossil fuel technologies like we use, petrofuel, whatever. I'm going to read this to you, this flood story. And I want to give a huge shout out to Virtual Shield. It is a VPN designed from the ground up to protect your privacy from big data spies. They're offered a special right now, less than five bucks a month. If you click the link for Leak Project, they're offering a 20% discount and a free 30 day trial. Definitely worth checking out. Virtual Shield, click the link. You'll thank me later. Now, let's go to the story here the flood story. What's left of it? Sets up, I will, the perishing of my mankind for Ninter. I will stop the annihilation of my creatures, and I will return the people from their dwelling grounds. Let them build many cities so that I can refresh myself in their shade. Let them lay the bricks of many cities in pure places. Let them establish places of divination in pure places. And when the fire quenching is arranged, the divine rites and exalted powers are perfected and the earth is irrigated, I will establish well-being there. After An, Enlil, Enki, Ninhursaga had fashioned the black-headed people, they also made animals multiply everywhere and made herds of four-legged animals exist on the plains as is befitting. 
I will oversee their labor. Let the builder of the land dig a solid foundation after the of kingship had descended from heaven. Space. After the exalted crown of throne of kingship had descended from heaven. The divine rights and the exalted powers were perfected. The bricks of the cities were laid in holy places. Their names were announced. And the were distributed. The first of the cities, Eridu, was given to Nudamud, the leader. The second, Bad Tabara, was given to the mistress. The third, Lara, was given to Pablazaj. The fourth, Zimber, was given to the hero, Utu. The fifth, Kurabag, was given to Sud. And after the names of these cities had been announced, and the had been distributed, the river was watered, and with the cleansing of the small canals, were established. Seat in heaven, flood mankind, so he made. Then Ninter, holy Inanna, made a lament for its people. Enki took counsel with himself. Anne and little Enki and Ninhursaga made all the gods of heaven and earth take an oath by invoking An and Enlil, or An and Enlil, in those days, Ziud Sura, the king, the good priest, he fashioned, the humble, committed, reverent, day by day, standing constantly at something that was not in a dream, appeared conversation, taking an oath by invoking heaven and earth, and the Kiur, the gods, a wall, Ziud Sura, standing at its side, heard, side wall standing, at my left side, sidewall, I will speak words to you. Take heed of my words. Pay attention to my instructions. A flood will sweep over the, in all the, a decision that the seed of mankind is to be destroyed has been made. The verdict, the word of the divine assembly cannot be revoked. The order announced by Anne and Enlil cannot be overturned. Their kingship, their term has been cut off. Their heart should be rested about this. Now, what? Segment D. All the windstorms and gales arose together, and the flood swept over. The, after the flood, had swept over the land, and waves and windstorms had rocked the huge boat for seven days and seven nights. Utu, the sun god, came out, illuminating heaven and earth. Ziud Sura could drill an opening in the huge boat, and the hero Utu entered the huge boat, with his rays, Ziud Sura, the king, prostrated himself before Utu. The king sacrificed oxen and offered innumerable sheep. Segment E, after 33 lines are missing. 33. They have made you swear by heaven and earth. Anne and Enlil have made you swear by heaven and earth. More and more animals disembarked onto the earth. Ziud Sura, the king, prostrated himself before Anne and Enlil. Anne and Enlil treated Ziud Sura kindly. They granted him life like a god. They brought down to him eternal life at that time because of preserving the animals and the seed of mankind. They settled Ziud Sura, the king, in an overseas country in the land Dilmen, where the sun rises. You. 39 lines missing. So, if I was to... I'm going to share this with you now. Type in the Sumerians' kings list. And also, I want to give credits to where credits are due. Great translation job. These are the project members. Oxford University. You can read hundreds of tablets that have been translated. So, this is the link. I'll leave uh, the link in the video description box for you as well. etcsl.orinst.ox.au.uk Check it out. And then the Sumerians' kings list. Click on the Sumerian's Kings list or the Sumerian Kings list. Scroll down here. I'm going to show you where I started. Move this over here. Yep. Okay, so 
Then Zimbur fell, and the kingship was taken to Surapah. And then that's where, then it says the flood swept over. And that was actually after, I didn't even add in these 18,600 years. So one might say, if you add, you know, you can add that in additionally, there's two conflicting reports on the king's list here. Uh, one shows that the, the king here, Ziad Surah, was the last king on the list, the Sumerian king's list, before the flood. This one shows that there's actually 18,000 years worth of rulership after the kingship was taken to Shurapa. And it was Uubara Tutu, Ubara Tutu, that ruled for 18,600 years after. So, if you were to add that onto the math, well, then would have 47,981 years. That would be how long ago the flood was. So it's either about 30,000 years ago or 48,000 years ago. We're not in Kansas anymore, even if you are. Are you really? It's very interesting to read through this. And also it talks about how Utu is the sun, yet is a deity, because when the rays come in to the boat, when Ziadsura drills that hole, the god goes through as rays. So they're definitely linking Utu to the sun. Now, An, Enlil, and Anki, Nintur, are the main players here. Ninhur Saga made the gods of heaven and earth take an oath, and they invoked An and Enlil. I also think it's interesting when, if you look at line 618, after the of kingship had descended from heaven, once again, heaven is outer space. After the exalted crown and throne of kingship that descended from heaven. This is not the only story or mythos or belief system that believes the kingship, the rulers of earth, we're given that position from rulers of heaven, from those in outer space, extraterrestrials. You can call them fallen angels. You can call them the Nephilim. You can call them the Anunnaki. Just don't call them late for dinner. They won't like that. Then you might be dinner. Hello! Native American, Irish, you know, Celtic, Nordic. There's so many different versions of the gods, yet a lot of these gods oftentimes parallel other gods that were talked or written or believed in or worshipped thousands of years prior. Fascinating indeed. So, if the flood was 30,000 years ago, what's been going on the past 30,000 years? If it was 48,000 years ago, what's been going on the past 48,000 years? Definitely amazing to think about. I want to get your take on this. I'm going to have Brooks Agnew on the show later today. He almost took a journey to the center of the earth. We're going to get some excellent details on what it would take. Be awesome to each other. Click that link, Virtual Shield. Use the code Leak Project. Get that special, less than five bucks a month to protect your data, information, privacy from big data spies. And be the change you want to see. And this king was in power, it was 29,381 years ago. <laughs> so that's a lot longer than what many people believe, you know, a few thousand years, 4,000 years, 6,000 years. We're going back almost 30,000 years. Now, let me ask you this. If you think that this is way off on the numbers, how come the Sumerians were extremely good record keepers they could tell blood. It references a king by the name of Ziadsura. Ziadsura. Now, the parallels of Ziadsura and Moses, not Moses, and Noah 
are incredible. Now, if you look at the king's list, the Sumerians' king's list, and you add up all the dates of when and write down exactly how much barley or wheat or grain that they needed. Incredible record keepers. How come they would be spot on with all of their trade and merchandise and way off with the rulerships and the timelines of the kingships? It doesn't make sense. Now, one might argue, okay, it showed that that one king was a ruler for 36,000 years, like Dumazid, the great shepherd that was married to Inanna, showed that his rulership, his kingship was 36,000 years. If you look at the lifespan of these people before the flood, it was far superior. They had a much longer physical lifespan. Now, what's interesting also, though, and you might say, well, it showed that the kingship was for 36,000 years, but are you sure it was that same person for 36,000 years? Could it have been the lineage, the bloodline of the Great Flood happened 29,000 381 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear, Leak Project, how the heck are you? I have spent the past several hours researching and doing the math and the data to come up with that date. Now, if you read through the flood story, ancient Sumerian Mesopotamian clay tablet that has the story of the great 